In this video, we're going to be walking through how to do more uh, advanced assertions within Reflect. So I'm going to get started by creating a test of a e-commerce application. And we'll call this e-commerce test. And in this example, what we're going to be doing is adding an item to cart and validating some uh, values about that item, which could be dynamic, specifically the price prices of that, uh, that item and within the cart itself. So we'll go ahead and close that. And then let's click on shop and go to one of these items here. So if we choose, let's choose this item. And let's say that I wanted to validate some things on this page that could change over time. So for example, this, this price here might be not be $34 next month or six months from now but we want to validate that it is a some number maybe within a certain range. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding a text validation of this number. And now that we've captured that text validation, we'll click on the details and modify what we're actually asserting about this value. So by default, all the assertions are on static text. So if this was 35 instead of 34, this is going to fail. What I'm going to do is highlight the numbers here, 34. And I am going to add, click add an assertion. And I'm going to add an assertion that this number is within a certain range. So we'll say match this number within a range. And let's say that this value we know will always be between 25 and 50. So here we can add a range here of 25 and 50. And now that assertion has been, been added here. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this item to my cart and I need to extract whatever value is, is, is shown here so that I can use it in future steps. So the other thing I'm going to do is assign this to a variable. So I'm going to click on this sign a variable link and call this item price. All right, so now that I've had that, let's go ahead and add this to cart. And we're going to enter a quantity of three here <clears throat> and click add to cart. And now you can see here in this cart, it shows the cart value is 102, which is three times the item price. So let's go ahead and add a text validation for this. And let's move over to checkout, which is hard to see because my picture is right there. And on this page here, we have a uh, item that's been added to my cart automatically. So let's go ahead and add a validation for that. So we'll verify that that's shown here. And we'll also verify that the price is here. And then let's add a text validation for the total. So now that we have done these validations, we need to make the rest of these uh, price values dynamic. So let's go to this one right here. Um, actually, let's go to quantity first. So let's say that we wanted to test based on a, a randomized quantity. So what we could do is we could highlight this and say, replace this with a function. So functions generate dynamic values. And we could say it's a function within a certain, it generates from a certain range of values. So we could say between one and four. So we know that whenever this test runs, it'll choose a quantity that's between one and four. So we'll go ahead and add that. And then we'll assign the quantity to a variable because we need to reference that. So we'll say call that quantity or random quantity. And then in the subtotal here, 102, we're going to add an assertion here. And this is going to be based off of the two dynamic values that we've generated, the item, quantity, item price and the random quantity. So here we're going to say it should match exactly and it should be um, the basically multiplying those two values. So we're going to click on this here and click insert variable and add the item price and then say times and then insert the quantity. So I'll go ahead and add an assertion for that. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab the price for this uh, additional product that was added and we'll add this to a variable. So we'll assign that to variable and we'll call it um, uh, additional item price. And for the final total, 
what we're going to do is highlight this and add an assertion, uh, which is uh, basically all of those values included into it. So we'll say insert a variable. It's the item price times the random quantity plus the um, the static value or, or the the additional item price. If we if we knew this was static, we could actually just put you know two dollars and fifteen cents here. But just to be safe, we can make it dynamic, and uh, that's the additional item price. Um, there are other assertions that we could do here. So if we knew, for example, that um, you know maybe it's not a number, but it's a value that could have one of five different values, you could include that here. Um, or uh, something like uh, just validate that something is not empty um, and it could have any particular value. But um, in here, what we're doing is we're, we're gonna go with that math formula. So um, that is assertions. Um, hopefully this is helpful for your testing and happy testing.